today, we're trying some new content. I want to try out some of the so-called games that notorious serial killer Ed Kemper played as a kid growing up. I played with death. Welcome to Breakfast Cereal. My name's Josh. Usually on this channel, I make fun of a criminal. And usually that just so happens to be a serial killer. I sit here on my couch, I eat my breakfast, and I tell the story of a killer while at the same time making fun of them. <laughs> if you have a bit of a dark sense of humor, I really think you'll probably like the videos, so definitely check them out. I think we're up to 20, maybe 21 episodes or something like that. In this video, as the title and thumbnail would suggest, I want to try out some of the so-called games that notorious serial killer Ed Kemper played as a kid growing up. Now, if you're not familiar with Ed Kemper, here are the Coles notes. Jeff Dahmer was an American- Kemper. We're doing Kemper. Oh, sorry, my bad. Ed Kemper, AKA Big Ed, killer of house pets, co-eds, dreams, and his own mother. Wanted to kill my mother since I was eight years old, and I'm not proud of that. Known for being intelligent. The state has made me much more credible as a human being. Gentle, <laughs> bullshit, chatty, and unimposing. Which is weird, considering he stood at 6 feet 9 inches tall and weighed more than Gilbert Grape's mother. Kemper terrorized the women of Santa Cruz, California. I went off the deep end. Big Ed's 10-person killing spree came to an end on April 24, 1973, after he turned himself in to law enforcement in Pueblo, Colorado. I also did a full episode on Kemper, so if you want his full story, you should definitely check it out. I'll link it down in the description below. But... What about these childhood games? Check out this clip from our Kemper episode. I developed some morbid games. And what were those games that you played with your sister? Was one that was playing gas chamber. What? You've never heard of it? Well, you know, it's just a fun game where you tie your sibling or friend to a chair in the basement and pretend like the state is about to execute them with poisonous gas. You never did this. Okay, so in that clip, I'm all smug and nonchalant about that game, but, you know, truth be told, I've actually never played it. So today, I'm gonna try it out. So I already have, like, pretty much everything that we need, I think. I just wanna keep this, like, the childhood version, like the game that you would play when you're a kid in your basement. Really, all we need is a chair and a basement. Obviously, I have those two things. I also think I want to get a helmet. So if you've ever kind of wondered where we shoot all this stuff, spoiler, I'm not American. There's a little hint here, Canada. I mean, too, like the chances, like probably in the 70s, like they're not using bike helmets. They would uh, toss a baby in the back seat of the car, just loose. Here we go. Wow. I <laughs> What I really want is just one of those, remember the, just the styrofoam domes that we had when we were kids, Eric? Remember those? <laughs> Dinosaur spikes? Fucking kidding me? I just want, like, I guess this. That. Oh, 50 bucks. But I guess it's your head. All right, so this is my basement it's where i edit all the episodes for breakfast cereal i'm down here every day working on this stuff it's also where i keep you know a bunch of the boxes and all that kind of stuff as well i was thinking eric like th just this chair here would work wait you want to do the bit down here well i mean <laughs> that's the plan right like it's my I think basement. it's a bit like bright and happy down here and the yeah. the game is called the gas chamber so yeah. So ever since we did that uh, Manson episode, I've been on a real Beach Boys kick, man. There's so much weird stuff that goes on with the Beach Boys. Not only the Manson stuff, but you had Brian Wilson laying around in bed for like months, right? Then the 90s come around and the Beach Boys are on Full House. Wait! Okay! okay. <laughs> right. Like with this song, right? They make out like it was a Jesse and the Rippers song, which is Uncle Jesse's band in Full House. And they have a weird music video that just shows his like blonde twin boys or whatever for the for the music video. Is that that's the reason why um, John Stamos plays drums? Totally for Kokomo. John Stamos pops up in the music video, I think, on the beach. Just a strange band. Now they're down to like just playing shows in like Niagara Falls. 
they're so old, right? So like, there's only like two members that are actually there, and they're basically like propped up with sticks on stage while another band plays the music. And they just kind of stand there. Hey, how's it going? Oh, pretty good. Good, man. Listen, I'm just wondering, is there any chance I could use your basement for like just 30 minutes, in and out, with a quick shoot? Uh, what kind of shoot? Um, okay, well, it's for the channel, obviously, but like, um, you remember how when you were a kid, mm -hmm. and you'd play that game where you'd pretend like the state was gonna execute your friend with poisonous gas? No. Oh. Oh yeah, I can tell, yeah. Okay, this is gonna be better for sure. Hey, like this is gonna. I mean, it still looks pretty well lit in here. This is even better lit somehow. Oh yeah, no, look over here. This is, this is the spot. Watch your head. But just right here, that's the vibe. That's the spot. Gas chamber. <laughs> I mean, I think like probably technically a gas chamber is, I bet more like a, you know, medical clean feeling room. But again, this is like, we're trying to do the childhood version. So I feel like you would do that in your like darkest part of your basement, right? Like same with the helmet. Like you wouldn't wear a helmet. I don't think anyways in a gas chamber probably, but. Did Kemper wear a helmet or are you just I have no idea up? if he wore a helmet or not, but I'm just thinking like when you're a kid, you'd want a costume to go with it. Like you wouldn't just sit in the chair and do it. You'd be like, oh, strap him in or whatever. Which actually, my... hey, Chris, do you got any rope or anything? Like, a... yeah. Yeah, okay. I used to play a game called German Gas Pedals. Anybody, if you remember German Gas Pedal, put that down in the description or in the comments. Is that when you used to put your foot on someone's cross? <laughs> yeah. I, what was German about it, though? I think just being mean. <laughs> there we go. Okay, let's give it a go. Any last words? I can't think of any. I didn't prepare. I should have prepared. Okay. 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 Uh, so now the gas is leaking in. Okay. That, that's what happens when you get gas? I feel like the kids would probably shake. Yeah, I don't know, man. Uh, I don't, I don't get it. <laughs> that's what happens when you get gas. It's not doing it for me, I don't know. Okay. He says in the thing that he would execute his friends, so maybe, I don't know, maybe it would feel better if I tried executing. If I you want to execute, execute me? Yeah. Strap you in here. What was what was Kemper's last words? Kemper's still alive to this day. Oh right, that's right. <laughs> so we don't know yet. I should have known from the mine hunter. But I mean, that was in the past. That show's set in the seventies, so he he could have died. But he's still alive. He is most certainly still alive. He did famously actually do audio books. I'm getting dizzy. He did yeah, audio books. Star Wars. Three PO was shot. Behave yourself, R2. How do you think that happened? I think it was like a program for people in prison, like, oh, oh let's give them something to do. But I think it's before the time that audiobooks were like super popular. It was like when you'd go to the library and get one, you know, back in the day. Yeah, I would, I would. I don't think he's, that. I don't think it's like Ed Kemper's on Audible. I don't think he's got his own. <laughs> All right. Do you have any last words? Um, no. I think I'm fine. All right, let's see if this works instead, okay? Execute. Should be taking effect by now. Oh, you're just tough. I'm dying, yeah. I'm, I'm dead now, now I'm dead. Yeah, eh. I would say like C minus game, Red Butt or like Red Rover or uh, horse. Horse was good. Horse would be more fun, I think. Executing you didn't do it for me either, so I guess there's that other game that he did though. So Yeah. Maybe we try that one? I guess let's let's do the other one. Alright. One of my favorite tricks back then was to go out and lay in front of the in the cars in the traffic. 
Uh, I'm walking down the sidewalk with a friend. I'll say, hey, check this out. And I'll go lay in the street like a stiff. I go, I'll lay in the street like I got run over. And, uh, but it was a little game we played. You know, you can climb up this ladder here. <laughs> That'll get you that top down, you know, overhead, kind of eternal sunshine on the spotless mind, kind of notebook type shot kind of thing, you know. Wait, so is the game that you just lay in the street? Yeah. <laughs> and that's, that's it. That's it, man. Apparently, it's a wild ride, so. Okay. Let's, let's go. <laughs> let's do it. Let's give it a ride here. <sighs> All right. Okay. <clears throat> ah, here we go. Ready? Yeah. I'm going to do it. I'm going to give it a go. Here we go. Again, like, honestly, it's, yeah, it's not really doing it for me. <laughs> no? No. I mean, if anything, it's, you know, it's, it's kind of nice. It's a nice night out. Yeah, nice breeze. A bit chilly. It's definitely not like a wild ride. Okay, actually, you know what? I think, yeah, no, I got an idea. I got an idea. Okay. I'm going to come okay. down off the ladder. Hold on. <laughs> Yeah, hey, um, listen, can you do me, like, just a real quick favor? Yeah, 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 but could you just, like, hop in the Jeep and come drive past me here laying in the street? <laughs> what? Oh, no, yeah, we're just doing that thing I was telling you about, you know, like, Kemper, how he used to, like, lay in traffic, and uh, there's just no cars, so, like, it's not working, so I'm just wondering if, like, having a car drive by might make it feel a little better, you know? <laughs> Okay, but yeah, can you? <laughs> Still nothing? Exciting when he when, <laughs> when she honked the horn and that made me jerk. Maybe he's onto something here. Maybe because you know what? People would probably honk their horns if they drove by a guy laying in the road. <laughs> Kemper's fucked, man. <laughs> All right, guys, uh, that's it for the video. Like, uh, we tried two games of Ed Kemper, the childhood games, and gotta say, I don't know. I think there was a lot more fun to be had in other ways. But anyways, I hope you enjoyed this video. I'd love to hear what you thought about it. Comments down below. Uh, and yeah, make sure you murder that subscribe button. We got new killer content dropping every week now on Saturdays.